गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम टू क्रिएट्रिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल माई डियर स्टूडेंट सो वी आर हेयर विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज आई एक्सप्लेन द एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशन इन केस ऑफ वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म लॉगरिथमिक एंड एक्सपोनेंशियल कैलकुलेशन सो लेट्स एक्सप्लोर वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू कैलकुलेट दीज थिंग्स So let me start by introducing myself. My name is Ankit Goyal. I got AIR one twice in gate in 2014 and 2018. I was awarded President of India Gold Medal in the year 2013 when I graduated from IIT Indore. Till date, I have trained more than one lakh student for gate and ESC in online and offline classes, and currently I am working as a director at an academy for gate department. Now most of the student know all of this about me but one thing you should also know is that this channel works tirelessly the team on this channel works tirelessly in order to make your dreams come true in order to make sure that you reach your destination and you realize your dreams and with that vision in mind we don't leave any stone unturned in making you successful whether it may be in the form of youtube initiatives or an academy initiatives on an academy free platform as well we do have a lot of initiatives which you guys can access simply by unlocking them using the code ankit esc now my dear this is a, a link to access all my special classes so if you visit this link you will find all the special classes or the free classes that i take on an academy platform and whatever i might have taken in the past that will also be available so let's get started okay so we need to evaluate the log expression and the exponential so we'll be talking about these things we will be talking about the exponential part log on a base of 2 log on a base of y exponential x natural log log on a base of 10 10 to the power x so how do we do these things so one by one let us take these as questions so first thing is log 5 so the process that you need to follow you need to enter 5 and then press ln then press ln okay so let me show you you have to go like this okay so let me show so first i will enter 5 let me use mouse 5 equal to then i will press ln so 1.6094 so it is coming out to be 1.6094 what about this again my dear you will go from right to left that is first you evaluate 14 by 8 then log then multiply it by 4 so i'll clear it 14 by 8 then i'll press log then i will multiply it by 4 2.2384 so it is coming out to be 2.23 now the thing is next it is asking us to find out log of 5 by 3 if it is not visible to you over log of 3 okay log of 5 by 3 divided by log of 3 so what you have to do what you have to do you have to first find out log of 5 by 3 let's see how we'll do that again first 5 by 3 then log 1 minute clear 5 by 3 equal to then log okay divided by 3 log so see 1.0986 okay so it is 1.0986 so what i did is first i fed 5 by 3 into the calculator i evaluated log of it then i divided it by log of 3 moving on now we need 5 log 100 on a base of 10 on a base of 10 very simple again follow the same process first 100 you will enter okay then you will press this log log1 okay log now you will multiply it by 5 see it is 10 very simple it is coming out to be 10 what about 2 log 67.23 now that you have understood the process it is very simple 
67.23 log into 2 3.6551 understood how do we perform these calculations then log 10 on a base of 2 again same process my dear you enter 10 then you press this log 2x it implies log of x on a base of 2 3.3219 3.3219 what about this this seems a bit more complicated but actually it is not 4 log on a base of 2 621 by 57 so 621 by 57 okay log on a base of 2 into 4 so 13.7822 13.782 okay so these are the values now you have understood these are the standard log function natural log log on a base of 10 log on a base of 2 these many logs have been defined into the calculator already they are available you don't need to define their base but what about i want to change the base suppose i want to evaluate 5 log 100 on a base of 5 let's see let me also see 100 log y x so on a base of 5 okay so first you feed the number then you feed the base and what you need to multiply it by 5 so into 5 14.3067 let me write it as well so that you remember it feed number whose log is to be evaluated whose log is to be evaluated then feed base and that is how you will calculate this value now let's try one more 7 log on a base of 350 so first i will feed 50 then log y x 3 into 7 24.9261 you can try it with me guys you can also try it with me what about this 5 log 7 87 by 23 first 87 by 23 okay now i need a log on a base of 7 so log i will feed 7 press equal to into 5 3.4184 and it's better in virtual calculator if you calculate up to four decimal places because in that case your calculation will be more accurate 2 log 4 121 by 81 so what i will do 121 by 81 evaluate it log 4 equal to into 2 0 0.579 0 0.579 okay so these are the four results that we have evaluated using virtual calculator you have to understand how to use each and every key you have to understand how you need to feed the data so that when you actually face a problem you are very clear about the steps and that calculation becomes super fast what about nt log e to the power x suppose the first thing i need to evaluate 7 e4 see very easy you will first put 4 then you will press e to the power x into 7 see 382.187 so here guys again go from right to left enter number press e to the power x 9 e to the power 1.8 1.8 e to the power multiply by 9 54.4468 similar process you can do to evaluate 10 to the power x the only thing instead of e to the power x you will have to press 
10 to the power x 10 to the power 1.7 the first thing i need to evaluate 1.7 10 50.1187 50.1187 what about 10 to the power 1.5 by 4 first i will calculate 1.5 by 4 okay then 10 2.3713 see how easy is this the major concern here is we are actually used to calculating from left to right in our conventional offline calculator but in gate calculator it actually asks you to input the value from right to left now calculation of x to the power y 6 2.8 let us see how we will calculate so we will write 2.8 then x to the power y one minute in this you have to go from left to right 150.9466 okay so here for x to the power y enter x press x to the power y then you enter y and see how easily I discovered this basically. Why was it? Because I actually experimented. So even in gate if you forget, you can just try it out. In a few seconds you will come to know. Next is 8.63 to the power 1.4 by 6. So I will write 8.63 to the power 1.4 by 6. Okay one minute or let me clear it 8.4 what it was 8.63 to the power 1.4 bracket i'll use by 6 better make use of bracket 1.6534 so what i did is 8.63 then x to the power by then bracket then 1.4 by 6 bracket close like this okay so bracket indicates that this calculation has to be performed first so first i need to figure out the value of 1.4 by 6 and then only i can raise 8.63 to that power now this is a question based on bode plot let's see how we can make use of virtual calculator the bode plot is given the gain is 32 db at uh, and minus 8 db at 1 and 10 radian per second then gs is gs is so basically guys if you see if we calculate the slope the slope is minus 8 minus 32 minus 40 db per decade which means there are two poles at origin so like what is the transfer function it will be k by s square now i don't know the value of k right i need to calculate but i know that the gain is 32 db at one radian per second at s equal to one ts is k which is given and db 20 log k is 32 so what i can say log k is 32 by 20 so k is 10 to the power 32 by 20 now we need to evaluate this using virtual calculator so what i will do 32 by 20 then 10 to the power 39.81 we get as 39.81 so see we find the answer as c so that is how in such kind of problem you might actually need to use logarithmic or anti-log calculation similarly let's see this the differential equation di by dt is minus 0.2i is applicable over minus 10 to 10 if i4 is 10 then what is i minus 5 so I will simplify it like this, di by dt. 
सो डी आई बाय पॉइंट टू वाई डी टी ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल इंटीग्रेट बोथ साइड्स सो पॉइंट टू आई इज ए टू दावर टी डॉट ए टू दावर सी फाइव ए टू दावर सी ए टू दावर टी ओके नाउ वॉट विल हैपन इज वन मिनट लॉग पॉइंट टू आई और वन मिनट आई हैव कमिटेड एन एरर एक्चुअली इट वोट बी लाइक दिस एक्चुअली वन बाय पॉइंट टू विल बिकम फाइव इनिशियली इट सेल्फ सो आई इज इक्वल टू ओके नाउ दिस इज के ई टू द पावर पॉइंट टू टी ओके I don't know the value of k, but it is giving me i4 is 10. i4 is 10, so 10 is equal to k e to the power 0.2 into 4. So k is 10 by e to the power 0.8 or 10 e to the power minus 0.8. Let's see. So first, I'll clear it. i will write minus sign where is a minus sign here it is but what about uh, okay so what we'll do is there is also a plus minus i'm not able to actually locate it there is also yeah so 0.8 minus e to the power so 0.44932 into 10 4.4932 Okay, now it is asking me i of minus five. That is k e to the power minus point two into five. K e to the power minus one. Four point four nine three two e to the power minus one multiplied by one. Yeah, multiplied by e to the power minus one point three six seven eight seven. See, I did not even need to enter the value of k again. What I did, this value was already available. So I multiplied it. I first pressed minus one. Okay, then I pressed e to the power x like this. So then I pressed equal to first. Star, then one, then plus minus, then exponential, and then equal. So it indicates we have to multiply by minus one or then e to the power minus one. So it will give us the result. So in this order, you actually don't need to delete the data from the calculator. You can continuously calculate. Okay. So that is where you can make use of this exponential. and logarithmic calculations